Rory McGraw gets suspended sentence for harassing former lover. Comedian pleads guilty to harassment at Huntington Magistrates Court. The comedian Rory McGraw has been given a suspended sentence after he admitted harassing a married former lover for 14 months. The TV star was given a 10-week prison sentence suspended for 18 months after pleading guilty to harassment at Huntington Magistrates Court in Cambridgeshire on Thursday. The They Think It's All Over star, 60, whose wife Nicola was in court to support him, began harassing his victim, who cannot be named for legal reasons, when she ended their affair. McGraw, who also appeared in the comedy documentary Three Men in a Boat, originally denied stalking but admitted harassment when the charge was changed. McGraw was also given a five-year restraining order banning him from contacting his victim, her three children, her husband or her current partner. He was also ordered to pay £200 costs. The court heard McGraw, from Cambridge, became unstable and tempestuous after his lover dumped him and asked him to delete intimate photographs he had taken of them together. Anthony Abel, prosecuting, said McGraw first met the complainant in the 1990s and then more recently through work as she was a writer and broadcaster. They got on well and began to exchange messages and their friendship developed into a physical relationship from November 2010 to May 2015, said Abel. Both the defendant and the complainant were married to other people and their relationship had managed to be kept secret from their respective spouses. In the complainant's case she was unhappily married. Although the affair had started off as something that they both cherished, by August 2014 the complainant had become very unhappy with the relationship. She began to find Mr. McGraw difficult and unpleasant company. I don't plan to go into details, but there was a time when she was seeking to disengage from the long-standing affair. She was very conscious of the fact that he did have several photographs of them together, including some intimate photographs as well that had been taken consensually, that he had stored electronically. She made it clear to him that she wanted it to end towards the end of May 2015. Following on from that she asked Mr. McGraw to delete from his phone and any other devices anything that related to her to protect her and her family. The defendant seems to have found it very, very difficult to deal with. Abel said McGraw then became unstable and tempestuous. His victim agreed to meet him at his home in July 2015 despite feeling uncomfortable about it. Abel said McGraw had put a mattress in his front room and asked the woman if she was frightened. Abel told the court, he asked after a few minutes of rather difficult conversation if, in the past months, she kept the relationship going in case she was worried about him having evidence. She felt he was trying to cross-examine her. Abel said, she made it clear to him that their relationship was over. His reaction was to break down in tears and try to kiss her. She made it clear she did not want that. He then spoke in a theatrical voice as if there was an audience and said, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have closure. The court heard that, between June 2015 and August 2016, McGraw sent the woman emails, approached her in the street and followed her. He also sent letters to the woman's husband. The district judge Kent Sheraton said, This was a persistent, consistent and controlling imposition of yourself on the victim and those close to her. He noted McGraw went to the workplace of the complainant's husband and went close to her workplace and he said there was use or threats of use of photos. He said only a custodial sentence was appropriate, but he felt able to suspend this after hearing mitigation including McGraw's guilty plea. In a statement outside court, McGraw thanked his family for standing by him. Reading on his behalf, his lawyer Nick Barnes said, This has been a dark time and thankfully it's now over. I wish to thank the judge, and apologize to my wife and family and thank them for their incredible support during this time. I now want to move on with my life. Thank you. As reporters asked him if he had any regrets, McGraw walked away with his arm around his wife's shoulders.